this is number 26 from yesterday's assignment and it was one of the problems I was going to grade but as I started grading it I realized every single person in the class is missing this problem so what's going on um, this is a law of signs problem even though it was in the law of cosine section but notice there, there was a section of the homework that said it was could either be solved with the law of signs or law of cosines so most of you started off beautifully you have sine a over 10 equals sine 40 over 8 not a problem so then you did your cross product your cross multiply and divide so we get sine a we're going to take 10 let me check make sure that my calculator nope i'm in radians okay so let me try that again so we have 10 sine 40 divided by 8. So I get 0 0.8035 approximately. And now I need to do inverse sine because I'm trying to find the angle. So inverse sine and I get that A must be 53.5 degrees. And that's what a lot of you had. And it's wrong. Look at the triangle. Take a look at that. Notice anything? This is an obtuse angle. Now, the triangle was actually drawn for you. It was given to you. So just looking at the picture, you know that's an obtuse angle. This has to be greater than 90 degrees. So what's going on here? I didn't get an answer that's greater than 90 degrees. Remember that when you do inverse sine, um, you will get an angle if it's... Um, if it's positive, you get the angle in quadrant one, and it's either quadrant one or quadrant four. It will only give you a quadrant one or quadrant four angle. So inverse sine only gives a quadrant one or quadrant four angle. So if it's positive, it's quadrant one. If it's negative, it's quadrant four. But remember, in order to be a function, it, we limited it to those, um, those two quadrants. Well, we need an angle that's bigger than 90 so, and less than 180. So we need a quadrant two solution. That means this, remember those reference angles? This is the reference angle. But we need the quadrant two solution for that reference angle. So that means... I need the angle I'm just drawing here if the reference angle is 53.5. So that means I have to do 180 minus 53.5. And when I do that, I get 126.5 degrees. And this is theta. So that one was tricky. I obviously did not count this against you if you didn't know how to do this, um, but because ev everybody did the same thing, we hadn't done one like that. Um, this does never. This never happens with cosine because cosine um, is you always get a quadrant one or quadrant two angle, and so this. So you never have that issue. This can happen when you are solving a triangle and you are doing inverse sine and your angle is bigger than ninety degrees. Um, one of the things, and it hadn't come up yet, so I hadn't talked about it, when I use inverse sine, I always go for the small, and I'm solving a triangle, I always solve for the small angles first, um, the smaller of the angles. Be, this one, we kind of we really couldn't, um, but I always go for the smaller angles first when I'm using inverse sine because then I know that they're acute angles and they're less than 90. And then if I have an obtuse angle and I can do it this way, I always save that one for last because then I just add the other angles and then subtract the other one from 180. Um, but here we, we had to do that. So um, now you learn something new.